Welcome back to part two. I am joined in the studio by Gavin Buckland. We are discussing his new book, Boys from the Blue Stuff. Check it out. Make a great Christmas present or a great all-round present. The link is in the description. You can click on it and order the book there. Excellent read, Boys from the Blue Stuff. We finished part one. Everton had just finished third in 1978. So, Gav, what happened next? So, you know, so 78, Lee finishes third. And then we didn't do good business. You know, kick on then. No, no. Buy some good players, yeah. And then he bought uh, he bought Dave Thomas the, the summer before in seventy seven. And he bought I don't remember Mickey Walsh. I who, know, I yeah, know that from was a striker yeah, who yeah, from Blackpool was it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He bought him in the summer. The goal of the season, didn't yeah. And that was the only thing he did in his career. Yeah. Though Liverpool were after him, you know. Uh, yeah. And obviously Mickey Walsh, Steve Walsh, was his brother, you know. Yeah, yeah. He said I've been the director of football. I don't think Everton and the Walsh family mix. No, they don't mix here. very yeah. well now, sadly. And uh, Mickey just, he, he's one of them. He's a good second division star. He's just over-promoted. Yeah. Uh, and he, it's, it's like now we buy a player from the championship, he scored a load of goals in the championship, come in the top flight and he does Can't nothing, do you know. Dwight and, Gale from yeah, Newcastle. And even, um, we always have Salis Park in 2014, <laughs> by the way. Uh, <laughs> um the, the that that gap was still there then, even though yeah. the, the gap in the divisions wasn't, wasn't as, as big. Big yeah. now, you could still tell tell yeah. it wasn't. Walsh was immediately apparent. He wasn't. Uh, he wasn't, wasn't good enough. He yeah. spent Gordon spent three hundred odd thousand on him. Uh, but then at the start of the season, we go on this long unbeaten run. Um, we're the last team unbeaten in the country at Christmas, and uh, including that run, which I do. Uh, I think it's one of Everton's favourite afternoons, isn't it? Of a certain generation, even after it, like the Andy King derby, you know, in October '78. Yeah. We've not beaten Liverpool for seven years, and uh, I write a whole chapter on that. Brilliant. Yeah, because it's so memorable. You yeah. know. Yeah. They say good on the light is great, but there's like a nice autumnal awesome after the golden afternoon. Yeah, you know, it's yeah. quite hugely symbolic and. They were you know, European the, champions. Really, yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, and, yeah that, and that was their best team, '78, yeah. '79. And um, Andy King's goal and a memorable John Watson commentary. Yeah. I, I was suspected favourite Liverpool above Everton, but that's just me. Yeah. And you know, you had all the ticket tape thing from the Argentina World Cup. So I try and capture all that in, in the uh, in the book, you know, because it was such a um, such an emotional afternoon. Because yeah. I remember it very well. I've been in Liverpool for seven years, you know. Uh, I thought that would be the longest period of time we'd ever go without a derby win. How, how wrong I was. How wrong, yeah. Yeah. And uh, so the whole chapter on that. And Kingy was a Andy King, sadly not with us, is no. no longer with us. It was uh, he liked a good goal on the telly and he uh, he had us one right into the top corner. Yeah. And famously I covered it also the famous interview afterwards with yeah. Richard Duck and Fields where the policeman <laughs> yeah, <it's laughs> and he doesn't off. tell him to get yeah. off the pitch, he, he pushes them off the pitch, <laughs> doesn't he? So that's it. And then so Le 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 with was second in the table at Christmas and unbeaten. And then all of a sudden it just falls apart. You know. Crazy. You know, uh, because Lee Gordon, I think he, I don't think he knew how to build teams. I think, as I say in the book, that as a ma manager, I think you've got two things to do when you join a club: is a get the players that you've inherited working properly and organised properly, and get the best out of them. Um, but then, after you've done that, buy plays, play in your own style. What's your chosen style? Yeah. And I can think of two or three Everton managers, like Martinez was one who could do well with the players and heads, but when he's trusting with his own players his and own stuff, thing. it doesn't doesn't happen. <laughs> I think to be fair, it probably happened with Joe Royal as well. Um, so I say the Gordon was like that. Mm. He was great at getting the best out of players well, he and heads, and he was he liked players who worked hard. Um, but he, he he sort of buying players who were twenty nine thirty. You know, he sold. Mm. So that um, Martin Dobson, who was 30, he bought Ace Arthur, who was 30. Well, yeah. why don't you buy a younger player? You know, yeah, we bought yeah. Brian Kidd, who was 30. You know, well, you're not going to progress get, no. doing that and play big money for them. And I think. Again, uh, synergy. Yeah. And synergy now. Yeah. I think in the early seven, in 79, it was really cold winter, and Gordon got a major cob on over gold, cold pitches, mighty pitches, oh, you know. Nice, yeah. And he, could, he started feeling, after 18 months where he thought he was the Messiah, he started to. Crack up a little bit. Yeah. I think the pressure started to get at them. And the thing, to be fair to Gordon, where he was really unlucky was obviously with Liverpool. Is there's a gap now, but that's when the big gap started to appear. Yeah, yeah. 
before Gordon, it was always nip and tuck. Yeah. Oh, Liverpool, yeah, yeah. Se- mid seventies. Okay, they won a couple of extra titles, <coughs> but you never thought. You thought we can get that back. Yeah, yeah. You know that that being the history of Merseyside football, you yeah. can get it back. But all of a sudden, in 77, 78, we start start Liverpool start. win European cups. That's on Gordon's watch. Yeah, yeah. And I think I think of all the Everton managers, he was the most affected by yeah. events across the park. You know, and I think um, he I think he always felt that he was just unlucky. Yeah. I, I think, think it's that sheepskin coat. Well, the old, there's a great, there's, the a, thing. there's a great one. I've got at home. A great <laughs> still of Everton Aston Villa in February '81, where there's McMahon, Latchford, and Gordon Lee sitting on the bench, and they've all got massive sheepies, sheepies on. on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah well, that was it. Uh, that was like the reggae, wasn't it, for yeah. a for a football that man? Was what it was, yeah. yeah, and then then it all fell apart. You felt mm. he had. Going back to money was quite a big thing, even then, you know, for players. So set, you had like quite an e, you had that that position you don't want to be in, where you've got a group of players where quite a few of them are entering. They've got one last contract left yeah, in them. Yeah, yeah. <coughs> you know, so you had like players of twenty eight, twenty nine yeah. who've got who one contract one left. Contract left, yeah. Or not, or not happy with their terms, and they ended up. I mean, Bob went on strike, which is mad. In in the seventy nine eighty, yeah. Bob went on strike, sitting in the stands. Completely fit. Team of playing, team of playing on the pitch. Bob's on strike. Sure. Imagine that now. Uh, so he fell out with um, Colin Todd, McPedrick, Dave yeah. Thomas. All left the club because right. oh, Gordon's man management wasn't that great. Yeah. Uh, and he brought a few people in. who was just weren't, weren't good enough. No. And then the writing was on the wall. Then you know uh, he got lucky with the FA Cup run in eighty. Yeah. Uh, got beat by West Ham. Uh, Frank Lampard. Frank Senior. Lampard. Yeah. Lampard yeah. On the flag. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that's kind of like the first real yeah. memory I can, you know, the knowing you can just think back to, I, yeah. I remember that, like, I think yeah. up, it is, and that's one, of the, like, there's a backstory to that, which is, yeah. I say in the book, that, that's another one that Everton moans, isn't it, only Everton could concede, like, a play they scored once every year, or something yeah, scores yeah. in a FA Cup semi-final against Everton, but there's a little bit more to it than that, you see, because what happened was, in for the second game that they played Alan Zoes, Alan Davis was a guy who played play yeah, West, West Ham yeah, wide, yeah. wide left. Gordon moved uh, John Gidman to uh, play right side the midfield to block him off. Right, yeah. So if you've seen that, Kevin Nack was playing in that game. Right. Because yeah. Billy Wright had moved to full back, right back, yeah. and, and Gordon had brought Kevin Nackliff in to yeah, play centre half. Yeah, yeah. Um, so why did you do that in the FA Cup semi final? Second game. Change the sense of defence. So if you watch that header, Lampard gets between. I can't remember the other sense. It was Mickey Lyons, Mickey, Mickey Lyons, Lyons yeah. and Ratcliffe because they never played together before. Yeah, yeah. So, so you're playing a second division team, and you're blocking off. You, you, you're changing the team to match their strengths. Well, actually, shouldn't you be? You should be forced. So, 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 so yeah. why, so why you, you've basically wasted your right back? What's their right back doing? doing? He's yeah. popping up in the area to score the winner, yeah. and that's the, that's the difference between managers who win trophies and don't. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He was too more worried about Bob stopping the second division team playing rather than winning the game himself, and that was an undercurrent. I think. Yeah. But not just with Lee, I think with Bingham as well. And uh, I saw, Gordon said he was unlucky, but a lot of it he just he contributed to himself. He self-inflicted, yeah. you know. Then we get to eighty-one. Um, Feel that year though, didn't he? Yeah, well, yeah, and famously, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, <laughs> there's a funny mm-hmm. good Gordon had some great comedy moments, didn't he? Um, you know, I think they played. There's there's famous one where they played. You know, they played Duckla Prague in the in the, the UEFA Cup, and uh, Gordon said to the pressman, um, "We've been drawn against Duckla Prague, um, but the the game's not in in Prague. It's in a place called Praha." <laughs> <laughs> No, no, Gordon, it's no. the same, same place. place, yeah, yeah, place. Yeah. Yeah. Well, that's semi-fat. Uh, the, the game against Liverpool in 1981. So, starts off the season well. Brought in McMahon had come in, McBride. Yeah, yeah. Got some, we played some really good stuff. But we're tanking after Christmas. So, Gordon's basically his future's on the, the FA Cup run. Yeah. Beat Arsenal. Yeah. Got some great guys. He played Liverpool. And uh, <laughs> Gordon, he just... Um, Eric Harrison, Gordon's doing his team talk. Yeah. Eric Harrison, who was like uh, his coach, wasn't it? During the during the talk, gives Gordon to to match ball. So Gordon takes him. Anyway. Finishes the team talk. Signs him. You know, best wishes, Gordon. Lane. Yeah. Eric Harrison goes. Gordon, in the match balls. 
Trying like scrubbers the signature oh of the uh, no. And um and it'd be beat Liverpool, but Dan was another highlight, wasn't it? Emery yeah. Verardi. Yeah. Um Avi Carlin on goal or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Though uh, uh, Peter Riso got yeah, given the goal, yeah, yeah. 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 Bucky's paid out on Easter in that game, you know. Do you? Bucky's paid out on Easter. He yeah. was like my first deal, like he was the one because he was a forward. Yeah, you know, yeah. Love that, I was loved. That. Oh, like, yeah, he was very underrated. He used to, I was great with yeah. his back to goal. Back to goal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I think I say in the book that if he if he had the turn of pace, he would have been international yeah, class because yeah. he could read the game really well. He could bring yeah. players into it. He's a nice good finisher. finisher. Yeah. yeah. Um, he, he just lacked that little bit of no pace, pace that you need at international level, mm -hmm. you know. And so we beat Liverpool. Clad Thomas was the the referee in that game, by the way. Incredible. Beat Southampton, famous game of good name, name O'Keefe. Yeah, yeah, on the lights. See, and then, these are the games now where yeah, I see, I see. I'm on them. Yeah, Your are eyes are lighting up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, and then Man yeah. City was the quarter. Yeah, I don't think, think, hopefully I've not been born here for 20 minutes. No, no, you haven't. Yeah. No, <laughs> but anyway, yeah, but that's right. But, yeah. And then, so we get to 81, I get the, and so key game of Leasy, get time, Manchester City, uh, quarter final. Yeah. Two teams in similar positions. They're completely overshadowed by Liv uh, Man United. Yeah. We are by Liverpool. Yeah. They just got John Bond in, and uh, the, the, I remember that the quarter final game at, at Goodison. Somebody there's great. There's a great line by uh, somebody in the Richard Boss, I think it was in the Sunday Express. It says the teams came out like two juggernauts trying to <laughs> fighting for the, the the same lane on the motorway. Yeah. You know, at seventy miles an hour. You know, it was it was just chaotic. Just, yeah, and. Um, we're winning two one, and then the key thing, Lee constantly went on about this. Um, for years after two one, and Emery Ferrari intercepts a back pass and takes yeah. a back pass. Joe Corrigan should have scored the Gladys and then puts it in the side net. Yeah, two it's one over, isn't it? And then, so. and then, I, ironically enough, Paul Power later wins the title with us. He equalised and right at the right death of City. End, it? Yeah. And then you don't want two all there, thinking we're not going to there. Uh, not so going to get this. Then we got B three one in, in, the way, didn't we, in, in Main way, Road yeah. and. That was it, you know. Go. I mean, yeah. Philip Carr. It wasn't one of his finest hours in that. After that game, it's obvious Gordon's going to go. Yeah. I mean, Carter comes out and says to the press, "We're going to be looking at you know reviewing the manager's position." Uh, you know, after after this defeat, well, it's quite obvious what's going to what's happen here, Philip. Yeah. It's like you're going to be sacking the end of the season. So yeah. sack him now. Yeah, because he's not going to do anything between now, you know, in the next sort of six weeks no. to keep a job. It's just like now, and, and and the worst thing about Gordon didn't know about it, you know. So the first time Gordon had he heard about it that. was from the press, <laughs> yeah. and so it wasn't one of Carter's. Uh, I, I, I get the impression that Carter didn't like him. Yeah, yeah. He was very terse. Mm. You know, he didn't say like when Lee left. Oh, thanks for Gordon. You yeah, great yeah, service. Yeah. You know, unlucky. Mean, he, he got a set, you know, final couple of semi-finals, all this type of stuff. Europe. He was just said he did a good job, but it wasn't good enough. So, yeah. Type stuff. So I, I got the impression that he he didn't really like he him. He didn't like him. Or didn't get on. Maybe. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The, the, that was the undercurrent. Because we had a poor end to that season, didn't we? Well, it fell apart after the yeah. season. We ended up losing virtually every game. Yeah, yeah. And um, then it's low down. Didn't it? So eighty one, summer eighty one. That's it. You, you saw there. Last chance saloon, isn't mm -hmm. it? You know because. Get it wrong now, and you could be amongst the dare I say the Sunderland, Newcastle, Sheffield Wednesdays, yeah. giants of English football in the past. Yeah, who were all in were just lower gone. divisions yeah, or whatever, yeah. not won anything. For, you know, for that, for ages. And so they couldn't. They wanted Robson, though. You know, but yeah. they had the off difference between the UEFA Cup the final, like, yeah. final yeah. and there being a, an agreement at the start of the season that you couldn't poach managers during the season. So the the there was still three weeks left of the season when they sacked Lee. Yeah. So they couldn't get Robson, though he was the first choice. Um, and then looking, and there was a couple of people they looked at. Uh, I think Ron Saunders, a fellow, was was one. Um, and then they obviously chose Howard. Seen Howard, which yeah. was a ga massive gamble. Lost, I mean, yeah. Howard, Howard had been at Blackburn two years. He'd obviously done well. He got them from third to the second division. Mm. Missed out and promoted to the top flight on the final day of the yep. 80 one season. Um, obviously, great player for Everton. Won stuff. Highly regarded in the game. Mm. Still only, Howard would be, what, 35? 35, wasn't he, yeah. Really young. 
Um, still playing. Still playing, yeah, yeah. And that, that's what I say in the book. I said, like, Howard's problem was when he left in 74, he was the best player at the club. When he came back in 81, he, he was, was still, still probably the best, the best player at the yeah. club. If you've seen him that season, come on. Come he on, played he played, the, did he play half a dozen games? games yeah, yeah. He was obviously... And he met me that, I remember. Yeah. Again, it, it's like that first season. I remember I was like... The manager's playing, yeah. Like, yeah, and he went, Watch how good he is, and yeah. he was brilliant. He just yeah. sit in that middle of the number six on his back or whatever he had, for yeah. whatever, and he just pop it off, yeah. The little, you know, the R leg in the neck, yeah, yeah, there. yeah. And he was brilliant, yeah. one touch stuff, and you were like, He's a hand manager, yeah, you know. But, and, that, and that was that was that was actually a good move. So, how would I mean, so, we had day one, but the, the biggest thing in the year, like the real most vividest thing in my mind, Alan Bailey's chip against Birmingham. Yeah, when you he thought that, Alan Bailey was going to be like the great... Uh, he was going to be the... Yeah. Not Stuart Locker, like he was going to be yeah. the one that carried us to glory, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah, and it, it worked out quite uh, quite badly. Yeah, yeah so I would, I would be honest to go through the magnificent seven people know that story and yeah, uh, yeah. that, but he, Bailey was an incestant one. He was an example of how it had a nasty edge. Yeah, yeah. As a manager, yeah. which is for all the joy of Ivra and Champagne and, you know, I'm around the shoulder of Love Howard and stuff yeah. like this, you know, good for a laugh and all this. He did have quite a nasty streak yeah. with players on occasion, sometimes unjustified. I think he uh, he put Billy Rice out to dry, you know, over the fitness thing. Yeah. He didn't have overweight to tell the press that. Yeah. that he was overweight. He could have just said he's been dropped for discipline yeah, issues. Yeah, yeah. But as soon as he said he's overweight... Yeah. Everyone was then, on then, it. Then, then he's on it then. Yeah, he could have just, yeah. So that's the end of it. We finished, end, end of career. Yeah. yeah. Um, he was all right at times, Billy Wright. Yeah, yeah, it? yeah. And uh, Barley was another one. Um, bought him in, paid big money, 300,000. He was another one. I would, he'd come to Goodison and I would say, oh, he's got a goal every second game, you know, mm -hmm. record. Well, how would that's in the second division? Yeah. Third division. He'd only played like seven or eight matches in the top flight, I think, for Derby. So... Howard was buying players at the time. I think that if Blackburn had been promoted to the top flight, he, he bought them for Blackburn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But buying players for Everton is a completely different thing. <laughs> yeah. And I think the players he bought at early on were very much like just the same level or even worse than what he had in Heritage, you know. And Barley was one of them. And he played at Arsenal in the league, and uh, Alan wasn't very good. And Howard absolutely rollicked them mm. on the coach. Did, yeah. We in front of the players quite badly, and the dressing room, and told the press afterwards. He said, he said, he said, told the press afterwards. Alan Barley was not up to scratch. If we could have substituted them, I would have done. You know, rolled them on the coach, and Alan Barley was in tears. That's you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I think so. How it did for all the ruthless side. Yeah, it? but I think, as I said, I think there's a difference between ruthless and nasty. Right. Okay. Yeah. So we had that. And and I think Howard on occasions. I think early in his career, I think as his career developed, he, he sort of he like with experience yeah. and confidence. But I think early on he could he could actually overdo it a little bit. Right, yeah. And I think he did it with uh, saying with Billy Wright and with, mm. with Alan Barley, where yeah. he it was a little bit too much. And so you get that but thing. Barley went, no, he didn't. I mean, he didn't last the season. No. I mean, a lot, a lot of them didn't. Mickey Thomas was another one. Sick. How many games? 11 or something? 11 games and Mickey Thomas he got from Man United. Yeah. He, uh, I and mean, Howard was quite right on this occasion. He said, uh, I don't want to play in the reserves in Newcastle. And Howard said, Well, you know, you don't choose when you play. Off, mate. Off you go, yeah. So, and so, he was a big deal then. Yeah, 400,000. Well, yeah. Um, and so you got that. All you got five goal Fergie, didn't we? Five, yeah, 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 yeah. I talk about the size of his feet famously. In, in, size in the, six, was it? Yeah, it's six something like that. Hard, wasn't uh, it? He taught talk, talk, talks about that in the book. He, I mean, the best three were like Nevin, Jim Arnold. Jim, they, Nevin, Jim. They, Mick they, Walsh was decent as well. And the Walsh way. was, yeah, yeah, yeah. back. Yeah, there. but I think um, I think Nev, yeah, was the one that people remember, and not really. So therefore, not really worth Howard. Mm. Uh, I think by the time you get to the winter of eighty one, yeah, and and so what happens then? You get this extraordinary thing where the reserve team at the start of the season is the first team by the January. Do I school the Resies? You know, at the start of 81, 82. I've still got some of the team sheets in Arthur, like Southall, Higgins, Ratcliffe, Stevens, Richardson, Sharp, Irvin, McMahon, all playing for the reserves. All the resi, yeah. So it's playing in the January. That is the They're first team. in the team. first team, yeah. You know, uh, and so I think. Uh, I think we could do with that now, Goff. Yeah, well, Howard was lucky. Yeah, Howard was lucky. Yeah. Brian Glanville from the Sunday Times always used to say Howard was a lucky manager, and I think he was there because. If he didn't have those talents, 
And let's face it, they all became part of the best team in Europe, five or six of them, mm. four or five years later. By the middle of the first season, now it's probably gone. Yeah. You know, both people something. say the same about Fer Alex Ferguson, no with Well, this, yeah, yeah, yeah. With this um, class he, of 92. He, well, he, he was lucky. But He'd obviously got United into a good place, but that, yeah. that, that's where he was they lucky. Yeah, on, yeah, right? yeah. But yeah, uh, now with Howard, you're right. Yeah, yeah. Harry had the same thing. You know, look mm. at the, the people that came through the new system at Belfield in the mid 60s. You know, Tommy Wright, Joe Rowe, Colin Harvey. Yeah, people yeah. like that. Absolutely. John Hurst. Um, so Howard was lucky. Mm. So then he, he sort of did well, ended up finishing seventh, and mm. Sharpie had a good season. Yeah. You remember his first season, done really well. Well, it's, it's his second season in the club, first four Volley seasons. Against, you know? that's, I'm sure when I in spoke to him, I was like, the, obviously, the Tottenham volley was incredible, yeah, yeah. the one one draw, but his volley against Leeds, we beat Leeds at home in the night game and he scored the volley. Oh, yeah, the yeah, the yeah. End. And not, that's the thing, not, none of it was televised. No. I mean, and he was, the, the Spurs game televised. Yeah. But the, the Leeds the game Leeds, wasn't. And he scored like, against Forrest as well. Yeah, he beat yeah. Forrest in the night game 2 1. Two, two goals. But, yeah, yeah, yeah like, two that last night. minute. Yeah, I yeah. love this, yeah, 81, 82. I remember yeah, yeah. a kid, you see. Yeah, so it's great. All of this is really like visceral to me. It's like when you're talking, I'm going, wow. Sat in the low bullens, my dad, yeah. my little brother. It's great. Them goals are like... And, and yeah. so there was promise at the end. Mm. You could see how was East Coast scored the final game of the season. We drew 1-1 one, one with Wolves, Wolves at home yeah, yeah. when I was in the street. It was the first game I'd gone yeah. with my mates from school. My dad allowed me to go oh, on okay. 46 yeah. from Penny Lane. All the way down. We were sat, we were stood on right to yeah. the front of the street end and their goalie. Paul Bradshaw, Bradshaw was there. Big keeper. perm, didn't he, Paul Bradshaw? Big perm. Yeah, yeah, Someone yeah. put up a, a shoe and an yeah. handbag on the thing <laughs> for him and he'd given him stick because yeah. he had the long hair and he was, yeah. like, he was great. But he still scored a chip. Yeah. I think Mel Eves equalised for them. All right, OK. 2-1-1. Wow, these statos in football. No, yeah. it's, but, this is uh, just literally yeah, from I can't, that but game. I remember, yeah, because that was one, I, that was the, I can't remember, that was a, whatever. I went every first season, I've probably gone to every game, 81-82 yeah. for a number of reasons. I had the paper round, I think, as the old joke goes. <laughs> and, but I remember that, that was a, and so we finished the season on a high, finished yeah. seventh or eighth. And yeah, he, yeah. He, Howard Simons, after his first one didn't work, obviously bought Inchi in the in the January. Yeah. In a in a, one of them little sliding door moments where um a deal for Michael Robinson from Brighton fell through. Right. Um so we supposed to sign Michael Robinson, he didn't, so we had the money, so we bought Inchi, which is funny, isn't it? My favourite player. And uh, He's my favourite player as well, yeah. by the way. Yeah, I love Hinchy. Yeah. And so he bought Hinchy, then he bought Kevin Sheedy in the summer. So all of a sudden, you, you can see it. Yeah. And then the, the following year, we've obviously got the 5 0 against <coughs> Liverpool. But one of the things with Howard is that he, his defensive defence was always very sound. So, mm. I mean, at Blackburn, I think 100 league, I think he conceded 63 goals in 88 league matches, but only scored 100. Oh, so okay. if you think how, yeah. how good. You get two, nearly two promotions out of scoring a goal a game. Yeah. That Didn't means your defence is great. And and that that's the theme that people forget in Howard's first three or four years and when he was really struggling in 83 was nobody complained about the defence. Yeah, it was. Defensively, it was pretty it was sound. We very rarely right. got a pace. I know the 5 0 game, you got a pace. Them, but, but that, that down season. Down for 10 0. The 5 0 season. Yeah. 82, 83, wasn't it? I think it was 82, 83. We started off, we beat. When we beat Villa 5 0, beat Spurs and Villa in the week. European champions, Villa. Villa, were, Villa yeah, yeah. Beat them 5 0. Yeah. CD score. I, what I remember again, another game. Yeah, and they beat Spurs. Up, beat Spurs, Spurs 3 1. 3-1 and, and then they fly in, and then you get beat at Notts County, which of course <laughs> Howard sort of fair. Uh, every time you had a progress, we, we did some for Yeah, yeah. But AC, there was a turning point actually where he, was, where he dropped Billy Wright. Yeah. He was left then with the decision he replaced, and that and that's the first time when Ratcliffe and Higgins played centre defence, right. and they were a really good partnership. Yeah, yeah, and from yeah. then on, Howard's teams are good for the next five years. And RD can see that there's less than a goal a game. Yeah, incredible. You know, yeah. and all of that came from Billy. Right, he was he was quite lucky, really, that he'd never have bought Kevin Sheedy if he hadn't have sold Mickey Thomas. Because Mickey he Thomas played left Mickey midfield. Was left mid, yeah. So he was quite lucky. The two big decisions he made. Selling Mickey Thomas, dropping Billy Wright to be overweight. Mm. He actually benefited, benefited from them in the long yeah. term because he got Kevin Sheedy and he got Kevin Ratcliffe then yeah. playing centre defence. Because Higgins. Ratcliffe's coming as a left back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he then never looked to be fair like back, Kevin, no. you know. He uh, says himself, don't Yeah, he? yeah, he yeah. But and all of a sudden, Higgins and Ratcliffe looked apart. Yeah, so he yeah. finished the season really well again. I mean, that was the thing with Howard. He always finished seasons really Strongly, well. Yeah. 
If you have a look at the first three campaigns, mm. last seven eight games, always win six or seven. Yeah. Do you see a sign for the future when they play Man United in the FA Cup quarter final, March 83? Oh, yeah. Um, you know, um, Stapleton. Yeah, like 93rd minute. McCarthy, but we played but brilliant we in that game. Brilliant, yeah, brilliant, brilliant game. Yeah, and you can see, you can see then this what? team's going places Scott, if they Scott, get, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and the nil nil at Anfield as well. Yeah, Jim following. Was unbelievable, yeah, wasn't yeah. Well, Jim Jim Arnold's from Neverlesque, wasn't he? Yeah. Both Old Trafford and Anfield, mm. you know. Just didn't look like yeah. it. He looked about sixty. Yeah, because yeah. of his hair. His well, hair. He, he was a balding accountant. Yeah, uh, that was it. Some, yeah. Something that I can familiarise myself with. But, you know, <laughs> <laughs> like, but yeah, he was thirty, thirty one. But mm. he was good. Arnold, he was a decent keeper. Yeah. And then we get to you know, eighty three. You've got. Um, you know, we end up finished seventh. Yeah. And then you can see, you know, you've got Sharp and Heath are beginning to, to, to play well up front. Mm. Kevin is, Kevin just looked quality from the moment. Just he, walked he in. He just yeah. walked in, didn't he? Yeah. But the thing with Sheath, he was. Richard was well, Kevin. Rich, Rich, yeah. Well, love Richard. Fantastic yeah. player. He, when Sheath, he played, the, the width of the pitch opened up. We yeah. just looked a lot wider, yeah, didn't we? Yeah, yeah. And Richard was, um, Richard was, I sat, it was left out of the book, and and it obviously bought Reed by eighty yeah, two eighty three. Well, yeah. Reed he wasn't getting a game. No, um, I always say that Richardson's like sort of like the George Harrison to Reed and Bracewell's Lennon and McCartney. <laughs> you, know, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Um, but Richard was a great player in his own right. So it was him and McMahon mm. in the middle. Yeah. Eighty three. Now had any B and Anfield six years later, they the Arsenal for a title. Aren't they? Arsenal Liverpool. Yeah. You know. Um, Oh, Richard was a great, was, fantastic. I, I think so. You, know, you see documentaries and say, "Oh, utility player stepped in." No, Richard was a good enough he was player. He's just a good player. Yeah, yeah. It was just that he had, sadly for him, he has that players yeah, who were better. But he was a far better player when he left. I mean, if you think about it, just ten years after, ah, yeah, ten years after he left Evan, he was lifting the League Cup with Villa at Wembley. Yeah. He should never have been in yeah, the league. Yeah, I mean, to, to all due respect, he would have been captain if the stage would have been captain Evan in the early nineties. Yeah, under captain Villa, yeah. Uh, Harper as well as another yeah, one. Yeah, yeah. Well, Alan was great. Time, didn't he? 86, 87, wasn't yeah. he? I would say about the thing about Richo is 83 4, the Cup semi final against Villa at Goodison. <laughs> in the first half, he busts his elbow and a bone in the lower arm, there, yeah. plays in the yeah. second half, scores, and then at the end, clears one off the line with his other <laughs> arm. Cash, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And uh, then doesn't play. And then comes back for the, the FA Cup game against Notts County with the cast on, scores after two minutes. Mm. That's being hard, that, you know. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So you could see the team developing. Mm. Then he bought Howard bought Trevor in, in the summer. Uh, he was after him for ages at Burnley. Um, he'd been, you know, sort of after him for 18 months. Yeah. Yeah. He'd seen him a lot at Burnley. And saying the book, he, uh, he, he said, I want to see him away from home. See, because see how we play. Some mm. plays are different, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, midweek, then because the reserve games and first team games and stuff always tended to be on the, the same right. day. Yeah, so, yeah. And so, he could only go to see Bernie play midweek. So, he drove to Lincoln Howard, right? Uh, uh, March 82 to watch Trevor play. Uh, went behind the goal, lasted 20 minutes, said, yeah. I saw it all at scene then. That was Just, enough. Uh, um, yeah. So, so, drove all the way to Lincoln for 20 minutes. To see Trevor said he was magnificent. You seen him against? He yeah. played against Liverpool. Who for Burnley? Yeah, yeah. League, was, and he was really yeah, good. Yeah, they thought, wanted him. As yeah, well. yeah. Well, he thought. Well, how thought he was the only person who was mm. after him. But Bob Paisley used to go as yeah, well. Yeah. Paisley said that in, every time he saw Stephen, he was getting substituted. Right. Um, so he didn't know whether he had the stamina. Yeah. But Howard obviously saw things differently, and he mm. he, he bought Thankfully. him. Thankfully. He, he wanted brace well as well, but he didn't have the money. Yeah. Uh, so he bought Trevor, and then 83, 84, you've got this slow start mm. where they don't, you know, and then not conceding goals, but it then we lose 3 0, don't we, in the derby in the November, and then we're getting beat. And then we're. Uh, the you know, I was on the. Yeah, uh, we were talking about the Coventry game before we came on air. That was yeah. the big game, the League Cup. The League Cup, yeah. Getting beat 1 0, 10 minutes left. Mm. Uh, we'd had the leaflets at Chesterfield, Howard mm. and Ken, uh, Howard and Carter out. Uh, those, you said you got one of Coventry Yeah, yeah. I think we had a few left. Yeah, yeah. Someone was passing them now. We're getting, beat get. ten, we're getting beat ten minutes left, and then Peter Reid comes on yeah. to booze, as I recall. Yeah. Uh, and then 
Inchy scores and Sharpie being yeah, clattered. Injured. Uh, yeah, injured. Limp, clattered. Shanette's one in as he's yeah. limping. In front of 9,080 yeah. spectators, including ourselves. Yeah, in the street and then, in the pocket of people. But then it wasn't, it took a bit of a time. They got a couple of decent results. They won at Man United. And then by the Christmas, you're thinking, how it's going here? You know, yeah. I think. Well, Gray come in, didn't yeah. he? Andy Gray come in, because I remember his name. Yeah. We beat Forrester over yeah, there. Yeah, he yeah. takes it on the chest, squares yeah. it, and then she knocks it in. And we beat them, and you think, we're up and yeah. running now. And then, not, you know. And again, he couldn't great. score goals by Christmas. You know, I say mm. about defensively, played 21 games, only conceded 21 goals. Oh, right. Okay. Only scored the 11. Realized, I realised that. Half a goal a game. And uh, <sighs> that was the difference. So it was always a question, I think. When the team starts scoring, we'll be all right here because we'll be we're not going to be. Yeah. And then um, we got beat heavily at Wolves 3 0, did not won. All the air or something, three yeah. 0 and just thinking. Just, didn't but then that was, I think Howard made. Well, I think Howard handed his resignation, and Phil, Phil Carter rejected it. Yeah. Um, then we we won at Birmingham. That was the one. Yeah, I yeah, think, yeah, uh, yeah. Birmingham I knew. think I think they knew that was the last chance to learn the players. Yeah. I think Howard did. Yeah. And then he went to Stoke famously. Um, I was quite comforted when I was doing my research to find out that famous story about Howard opening the the, the, the dressing room window. Yeah. Um, that's not one of those apocryphal tales that comes out about 25 years later. That was said at the time. At the time, yeah. That, Howard quoted that story yeah. to the press the on the window, day. On the day. Because yeah. I was at Stoke. Yeah, uh, yeah, there, uh, yeah. I remember yeah. Andy, because Andy King had been dropped and King, he was in the, right behind us in the stands and we go, Andy, he was dropped and going, I'm injured, I'm injured, obviously. Yeah, I mean, probably. you know. Yeah, we were right behind uh, yeah. the goal, weren't we? Yeah. And, and I felt sorry Thanks, for King because he, he he played and he'd, he'd be in a few near misses and just yeah. as he was getting good, he, he got a bad injury, if you remember, at Sunderland when he'd done, he was doing really well. He got clattered. Again, yeah. I think he'd done his crucius. Um, and then we, we beat Stoke and then the famous Oxford game. But I I, I think that's one of the reasons why he's my favourite player because his goals at the start of 84 oh. made an enormous difference. Yeah. He scored. You know, he scored at against Spurs. Uh, no, two against Spurs. They won the league. Hats against Notts County. He scored at uh, Oxford. Scored in the uh, in in the replay. Uh, and then we go to Gillingham in the FA Cup. Really tough three matches. Steve Bruce. Tony. That's yeah. the other turning point, isn't Cascarino, it? Tony Cascarino. One on one, one, on with, one Nev. with Nev. And he saves he's, it. If he yeah. scores there, we're out oh, the FA oh, Cup. Oh, yeah. I yeah. think he said he's seen out quite a few times and said since you know afterwards that uh, you know he kept his job because of me. Like yeah. 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 And have you ever had Tony Cascarino's book where he talks about what was going through his... No. Oh, no. yeah, he's really good. Yeah. Yeah, he, he, he talked, because what had happened, I think for some reason he'd thrown everybody up, and he yeah. was standing on the halfway he line on broke, his own. Yeah. The ball gets played out, yeah, and, he, and he says what he's thinking about. As he's running. And, he's, and he says, you've got to, you know, it's muddy pits, keep control, because you're going to miss this, you're going to miss it, and he just, it's just, the Nev was fantastic. Nev, yeah, it's yeah. a straight at Nev. When, when 3-0, then we beat, we end up not counting, and Southampton. FA Cup. Inchy again. Yeah. Just uh, Inchy. Harbury, yeah. Yeah, that, that's my favourite Everton goal. Uh. Just the way he adjusts himself. Yeah, yeah, the, yeah. The fans played, on the pitch, you know. Yeah, yeah. And he, he was a Kelly great goal. was the last person to touch the ball in that. Was he? Yeah, the yeah, last, yeah, yeah. In that game, he was yeah. the last as they're ready to blow the whistle. Yeah, the yeah. And, and he... Then Bedlam breaks out. Yeah, it was literally. And, um, yeah, that's me. I was right on the north bank behind, behind the goal, you know, and... The goals there and made like behind. And you see it and yeah, it. yeah. Oh and you knew God. things happening then because that. I suppose going back to the the unlucky seventies. Yeah, when well, they finished they? second. Mm. That, going back to the unlucky seventies, those things happened against us. Yeah, we never did things. that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So when that happened, when we did that to somebody else, you know, yeah, we're, yeah, we're, on, it, it, we're yeah. on it. Yeah, and they finished the league well. They only lost three of the last twenty-one matches, mm. and we Shattered play Watford. Yeah, we got to, uh, you know, Watford, we were always going to win, I think. Yeah, yeah it's just sitting in the stars. That's a good side, didn't yeah. we? Yeah. Well, it, yeah, and he, Howard was good in that. He never rested on the slaughterhouse. That the league form in 83 84 was, after Christmas, was still good, even though they were fighting on two, two, two cups. From, yeah. So we covered the League Cup final against Liverpool, where they were, they were unlucky at Wembley, uh, Alan Hansen and Ball, you know, but in Main Road, they were just as good. Yeah. Um, so you see the good team, and like, the league form was good. And he got that way of playing where they play really high line. Yeah. They, they, yeah. they compress the play into, you know, 20 yards either side of the halfway line. And Rackliffe and Matt. I mean, Derek was quite quick, actually. Yeah, he gets, Derek, he gets, yeah. You think he could be a look ungainly, but yeah. he was quick, Derek. Was quick, yeah. And Rats obviously was like an Olympic sprinter, wasn't he? And Gary Stevens was really quick. Mm. Um, 
play a high line, anything over the top, the defence would yeah. pick up. And then the easy then would just basically nick the ball in that area, wouldn't he? And it's a wide for Sheedy and stuff. And Gag impression, which yeah. Colin Harvey brought but, Yeah, yeah. And, and, you know, and obviously Ralph Langwick spoke about yeah, it last week. Yeah, he... Yeah, and, and that's it. If you watch, you know, won the FA Cup, obviously. Um, but going on to eighty four five, is that that's the one characteristic that was set them apart. If you watch like uh, Cole said, if you watch the United game five nil, yeah. you know, if you watch that in the second half, we're winning five nil. I think I, think, I don't remember. It's Remy Moses picking picks the ball, like, and there's five Everton players around. Just around them together. Yeah. yeah. That was the thing. Yeah, I remember, just, just, yeah, people, yeah. I remember Clough talking about it, saying yeah. you pick up all up and there's four rounds. Yeah, yeah. He's just so hard. They worked work really hard. He didn't give yeah. the opposition. wasn't pretty to watch. Um, some would say. Mm. I think the press when you get it to eighty four five and the top of the league and stuff. Team and no stars. Team man. and no stars. Yeah, I think. I think. And I think they were probably right. I mean, mm. Spurs, Man United, probably week in week out, probably played a bit more flair, a bit more attack and panache. Mm. But we were hugely effective. We could play when we wanted to, mm. but I think Howard just wanted the title. I don't think he cared how he won the title. No, no. in eighty four, eighty five. Does he care now? No, no, no. exactly. I think he, so. he didn't. He, he just wanted to yeah. win the title. Yeah. And I think, you know, we we got criticised in some courses for for basically may, maybe not even making the most of the, our ability, especially mm. away from home. You know, if you if you look at that. 12 away wins that season, 10 of them by the odd goal. We never went away from we never home. Went, teams, they, you know, no, not really. And we should have done yeah. we did we, we had, Yeah, yeah, didn't yeah. We? we had the quality, yeah, but yeah. I think Howard just wanted to just get the three points. Get the results yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, if you, and, and I think away from home, the press, and they just squeezed the life out of yeah, the opposition, yeah, yeah. waiting for them. Some, some of the <coughs> unfairly, perhaps, but I can see where they're coming from. We won at Southampton two one. They late in the, the season, season. Yeah, yeah, yeah. April, 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 April two one. Yeah, Richo, Richo came in, scored two goals. Yeah, yeah. And somebody said we were like one of them baseliners in tennis that just gets the ball over the net and waits for the opposition to to hit the ball out. Yeah, yeah. Wait for them to make a mistake. Yeah. We won two one that day, and both came from their mistakes, but we punished yeah. them. But that's a skill in itself. Yeah. So, but we could play with Flair beating Heights of five nil, fantastic. Forest five nil. Um. Superb against France, yeah, yeah, yeah. Newcastle the January 4 0. Like, oh, sublime, fantastic, yeah. sublime, you know. And um, but at its heart, was a team that worked really, you know, yeah. really resilient, really fit, but worked really hard. And oh, I mean, I think I was saying the book that reading Bracewell, unusually for a midfield pair, do quite a like, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I think there was like concern at the time. Well, they two were like, what did he give us? Yeah. That's different. Um, okay, there was there was differences. Reedy could better show a passer, maybe moving the ball forward and taking the ball up pitch. Place could it's it's yeah, yeah, yeah long passing, but essentially they were quite similar. Yeah. But I think Howard wants it that way because they both pressed in the same way, yeah. so it enabled them to apply double the pressure. Yeah, in the centre of the park, if you had say McMahon and Reed. McMahon was too ill disciplined. Yeah, yeah. He'd leave gaps. And, and he'd yeah. leave gaps. Mm. He'd go wandering around the yeah, pitch. He was yeah. a bit Trying too to headstrong at yeah. that stage in his career. You know, but where Bracewell was a little bit cooler. Mm. Um and I think him and Reed, though they had differences, they the way they were alike that really benefited that, us. Yeah, the way yeah. the way that game but by pressing, yeah, you know, enabled us to do that. Uh and we also, you know, sharp and in she before he was injured. Um Best player in the country when he got injured, oh, didn't he? Wasn't he? By far, he, yeah, he was just fantastic. Yeah. He, he's the best player outfielder when he got injured. He's the best outfielder I've seen play for Everton. Is he? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. Those thoughts. He was brilliant. He was a brilliant. He yeah, was just. Yeah. He had everything. Yeah, yeah, good in the yeah. air. He's only small, obviously. Yeah. Good touch. Goal in him. Yeah. Oh, well, it was gold. He, he could. He like could. Centre midfield in the FA Cup final. Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, he, well, he came to the he club. He wanted. Midfield. Midfield. He yeah, wanted yeah. to play midfield. Yeah. You know, but that's why he'd fallen out at Stoke. Yeah. Because um, he wanted them to play up front with yeah. Lee Chapman. He said, "I want to play midfield." Yeah, yeah. And 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 in she, like all the best players, he had a real nasty streak. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. He could he could leave his foot in and see. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah that though didn't he? Sharp. Was yeah, sharp yeah. Really but I, I think Inch, but because Inchi, because he's a little bit smaller and stuff, and, and he was face. like really skillful player. Yeah, yeah. baby face. He could, but Inchi could be nasty. Yeah. 
uh, and his injury, you know, you're thinking, when you get injured in 84, I'm thinking, oh, this is going to be the one player on the, yeah, on the, the that team that went injured. Like, yeah. uh, fortunately for us, Adanzi in reserve. Howard had looked at, I think he maybe, he looked at the uh, gates to the Twitch to yeah. the place, uh, in Seaport. Gates was not one, he was late 20, 27. Yeah. I think Howard probably wanted Lineker. I think he, that's that's I, I didn't say in the book, but maybe later on, I think he may have, there's a story, the story for later book about I think he made one once at Lineker that season. Yeah. You know, but Gray came in and was doing really Gray well. Was fantastic, wasn't he? And Andy gave us that experience and know how and will yeah. to win and stuff. That was vital. And um so we sort of changed but well, you know yourself eighty four five I always think of that as two different teams. The team with Inchi in. At the first half. And, and, season, and the team yeah. with Andy Gray in. Yeah. I'd always say if you want to watch one of the teams, I watch the team with Inchi in. Yeah. Well because yeah, because I I do think we did play a bit more football in the first yeah. half of the season. Not that we you look back dead fondly, aren't you? But the second half we would we were just we were relentless in the second yeah. half and it was. I mean obviously Leicester away was a huge one. We didn't have Sharp. Yeah, we didn't have Heath obviously, and we had Stephen up front of Andy Gray. And yeah, well, Trevor, Trevor they said was the best head of the board of the club, wasn't yeah, he? Was I mean, fantastic. he was just there. He's just he, when you add him, and you've got Sheedy, and you've yeah. got Gary Stevens, and yeah. Grace, well, I mean, Gray, yeah. and Sharp, well, that, that, yeah. that was that, that was the good thing. Richardson to say. in and out. Yeah, but it was it's some there was some good partnerships there. Like I say about Stephen and Stevens, like Howard never played wingers, did he? he didn't I think no. he just I mean Sheedy wasn't a winger, obviously. He didn't have the pace and Trevor. Though he did have pace, he wasn't yeah. really a winger. He was more, he was more a right side and midfield. Yeah, he played yeah. wide, didn't he? And I think like him and Stevens, complement each other great. I think mm. if if because Ste Stevens was so physical, but could get up and down. I think if he did that like a, which he never had, but he had like a mercurial winger. Yeah. Play, I don't think it would have worked out. Might have been the same. But no. Stephen, because Stephen would get up and down. Yeah. Again, it's having in past pitch plays with the same characteristics. Dicks made us twice as effective. Yeah, yeah. Like even Bracewell, Stephen and Sheedy did the same. Stephen and Stevens did the same. And then you had the same with Gray and Sharp, didn't you? Mm. Up front. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, in the big games, say Bayern Munich, you had twice the firepower up front for what you wanted to yeah, do. Yeah. And that helped. And I think, um, yeah, after it became very much, I won't say Seppi's team, but if you see a lot of the big goals in 85 onwards, away from home, a lot of them from set pieces. Plays, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. You Spurs know, spares away was was what an exception wasn't. Yeah, it? but they, they were mistakes. Ones. But you know what I say about capitalising yeah. on mistakes? Yeah, Both yeah, came yeah. from mistakes, didn't yeah. he? I mean, that's my favourite Everton game. That spares away. Right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. The yeah. save by Nev. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We were we were brilliant, mate. Me and yeah, they were, they were, they were, they were, they were, and I think that say team and old stars. I think. We, we we were second half team as well. Mm. That if you have a look at those all them game big games from February onwards, all our goals are scored in the second half. Mm. You know, Bayern Munich, yeah, yeah, Rafa Vienna, yeah, you know, Luton, Luton, yeah, yeah. the semi final, yeah. you know, even Ipswich, that yeah, Fortuna Sittard, yeah. all the goals set quarter final, all half, second half, Ipswich, yeah, yeah, the, um, the all, they're all sec all second yeah. half because. You know, don't give anything away in the first half and then kick on in the kick second on. half. And and <coughs> we were really good at going from nil nil to three nil really quickly. Just quickly, yeah. yeah. Or two nil, you know, if you see and that, that was the centre of a team, it's ruthless. Ruthless. Yeah, yeah Telford was another Telford's one. I mean one. Watford's won four nil, it was nil nil after sixty minutes. Yeah. You know. Um so very much a second half team mm. because don't don't end up in the first half and then the second half Can just kick down, on yeah. a little bit. Yeah, yeah. And when you've got them like that. Keep your hands down the throat yeah, and they'll just strangle them. That, yeah. And that's what that was. That's why they were a great team, you know. But he had that week, in, and I think he just alluded to it there. That week, I think when team team and Oak stars, but I think when he won at Spurs, mm. and then match of the day, he would not been to a league game at Goodison all season, even though we'd been top of the league for most of the campaign. Yeah, yeah. Decided to come the first Saturday in April. We played Sunderland, Sunderland. win fair one, yeah. four one, three four fantastic one. goals. Yeah. Uh, and then we showed Spurs. We showed we were a great team, resilient, true championship style. Sunderland showed that within the team there was real quality. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Real yeah, championship quality, oh, God. individual definitely. quality yeah. in the team. Both were great headers, but like the lead and Bracewell link up for the first goal, and then like the Bracewell Pass, Stevens. Yeah. yeah, I mean that's. Top, top, yeah. Individual quality. Follow your passion. This first yeah, touch is yeah. incredible. Yeah, and I think. Um, 
And obviously, seeing the only other time match of the day had been there. During the season was obviously the Kevin Sheedy twice taking free kick against yeah, Ipswich, Ipswich, you know. So the so by April eighty five you got that the the, the 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 nationally the view of the team had changed. Yeah, yeah. Team no stars, but actually no, these are top class. They've got top class. Yeah, you yeah, know. Yeah. Then we reached the the semi final against Luton, where we like all the best teams, you find a way to win because we were yeah. absolutely yeah, we were terrible. I think, I think after. In eighty five, after the say Christmas, Christmas eighty four, then they were the only team I think that gave us any trouble. They gave us a tr- Southall made three brilliant yeah, saves in yeah. that. Yeah, one know, from Dickie Hill that was you know up there. And the, oh yeah, the one where he gets the down to his left and he gets it. Yeah. St- oh, I don't know how he yeah. saves it's brilliant. Um, and then so we we get get through. I mean, I think she his free kick. It wasn't his best one, but no, it was just, no. it, I think it hit Brian Steen, didn't it? Brian, I think. Uh, and it, in the corner, it, placement. Yeah, yeah. I think it clipped off Brian Steen, mm-hmm. but you can't talk about that. But then um, we get to, I mean, go to Sheffield Wednesday, another game match of the day. Yeah, yeah. And they say in the uh, book, if you watch the video of that game on YouTube, it's quite rare, rare that they've got a camera in it as the players come out of the dressing room and you see and the players coming one, out yeah, like, yeah. and you think, don't fancy playing these. It wasn't no, fancy no, no. playing this lot today. No. Looking at them, you're thinking, they're they're, they're, they are. They are. They look it. They, yeah. they look it, you know. Yeah, yeah. And we showed that in Hillsborough. Yeah. Played Wednesday off the park for 20 minutes. Yeah. Absolutely different class to them. Really tough game. And then the, the five minutes before half time, the famous. The save from Verardi, wasn't it? Yeah, Verardi. Yeah. Uh, and then from the corner. That makes that other brilliant the save off the other. Then the Brian Marr with it still on the side of the bar, yeah. and we, we conceded six corners in ninety seconds and survived. And I remember uh, David David Lacey sadly departed the other week. The the Guardian football writer was fantastic. You know, said something like the lines of, you know, they, they showed why they are where they are, and they did so on their own goal line because <laughs> we basically spent like two minutes just basically just camped. <laughs> camped in our six yard box. You know, and that was that summed us up. Survived the barrage, went one one nil, killed the game second half, and then you get QPR, yeah. which is so which is great. The time on the Monday, yeah, yeah, which is still one of my favourite games. I love that. Yeah. I love the end of that game. Yeah, Just you know when the players go. I make the point in it in the book that I hate laps of honour now. But not well because hey, because it's not us. Yeah, but yeah, there's families and. Yeah, kids. Your kids and, and family dog on the pitch. I mean, since, you know, <laughs> since when has it been about them? Yeah. No, I know. I know. You know, if you watch that, then it's about basically it's it is. Players, you've got a, you've got a posse of cameras, mm. you know, photographers, yeah. the team going around, that's it, yeah. a few of the coaching staff, that's it. That's, that's all the way it should be. It should be, should be family the window cleaner and stuff. I know. And Everyone we've spoken to. Yeah, yeah. It's not about them. No. Only, they don't play every week. And no, I just think like that's just nonsense. No, yeah. you know. No, I agree. And yeah. uh, I just think, you know, uh, I wouldn't mind if that happens at Goodison, obviously. Yeah, but yeah. but when you watch, I love that two or three minutes just the, uh, watching the it going around the pitch. Yeah, yeah. yeah, it's just, it, it there's a real moment. togetherness that yeah, I think yeah. that is quite rare, you know. Um, and I always like cameras where the cameras is where there's cameras, you can see cameras watching the players, yeah, you know, yeah, like yeah. you're sort of observing yeah. as a neutral. And uh, that was a fabulous, uh, fabulous day. As I've said many times since, I woke up at six o'clock in the morning in the field with a with a fire extinguisher for company. You know, <laughs> but, yeah, yeah. It was, good it, night. It was, yeah, yeah, it was a good night. Um, but we'd won it, so it. So yeah, we hadn't games yeah. to spare. Yeah, yeah. And I remember that night because there was sitting, I was sitting at the table, having a pint, just thinking, you know, and thinking. Obviously, a little bit older than yourself. I'd watched Liverpool win at the title, obviously. Yeah. Titles. I always knew that they'd really regarded as the best team that yeah, everybody yeah. wanted to beat them, and they were like, you know, and 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 you know, and quite rightly so. And then we're thinking that then it just struck me, we're the best we're team the now. Best. Yeah. That's us now, and I can I can still visualise myself just, just staring yeah. into my pint, yeah. thinking that's now us. I bounced into school and was yeah. just like all the stick I took. Yeah, yeah. With, and they couldn't say anything. No. We're, we're the champions. Yeah, we're absolutely. Won. End the story. And won it by my, we were the record breakers at that time. Yeah, the yeah, most yeah. Points, the most points anyone had won it by. Yeah, and uh, we used up, didn't we? We lost a couple oh, of games. God, yeah. there's, a, there's, a, there's a fun fact about that Go season, on. which is 
in the all the seasons that the top flight was 22 teams, yeah. which was from 1919 to 1994. Um, only twice did one team beat all the other teams in the division at least once. Everton 1984-85. Yeah. You know what the other time it happened? Everton 69-70. Only really? two times it happened where yeah, one club rushed. beat all the other clubs in the division that season. Only ever happened twice, you know. And uh, Yeah, yeah. Uh, and so we had that satisfaction. Yeah, I yeah. I, there's quite a, quite a long bit. I say how we talked about it quite le a length. How he'd done it as a player and walked around the pitch as a yeah. player. Now he's watching the plays and the satisfaction. I Quite, quite emotional. I mean, yeah. Phil Carter's wife, she was crying in the director's box. Yeah, you see, you know. Just and John Mars, John Moores, he's obviously, you know, he thought he'd never see it again. Yeah. You know? And uh, it's a fabulous day, that. And then, obviously, we go to Rotterdam. Yeah. And then that was just, it you know, yeah, yeah, it don't really have the act. And they yeah. were fantastic, weren't they? Yeah. I mean, <laughs> again, second half team, you know, don't mm. go. The, we had had a goldish lad in the first oh, half. Oh, that was on, that was on side, that, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But second half, we just... Yeah. We, uh, even when they went hands to ankle scored, we just kick off and go down. We'll the end, end yeah, finish. absolutely. Well, that was, that was the measure of the team. Yeah. You know, any sort of threat, we'll just we'll, we'll snuff There's that There's that, that one that's been on social media a lot lately where, from the Howard's Way film where we have about 40 odd passes yeah. and Trevor Stephen smashes yeah. it over. It would have been the great, like one of the goals yeah. goal ever because it's just so easy. Yeah, eight, eight out of ten play... Ten of the outfield players touch the, the ball, yeah, like yeah. you know. Um, yeah, I mean, I was at Rotterdam and it, it was great. Um, and so there's a there's a nice stat in the book in terms of winning the domestic double, yeah, and winning the European trophy. There's only been two ta two occasions when an English club has gone into a third one, two of them have gone into a third game needing to win the third. Right. That was Man United, ninety nine. Ninety nine, yeah. Won the European Cup. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And us. And us in, in 85. 85. So we, we won two of them. We then got we to do the double. That, yeah. And I, don't, so I talk about the United game, but I say they were a good team, United. I think the difference mm. that game, the early games of United that season, because obviously beat them in the, the Milk Cup. Beat them in Milk yeah, Cup. Beat them three five days after the other one, didn't we? Yeah. Should have won at Old Trafford, but she did miss a penalty later on. Yeah. That was the only time that season they had Robson and Whiteside in the middle. Was it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, against us. Slack and Mr. Penn early on in that one. Yeah, at Old Trafford, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and I think that they were both obviously top class, yeah, top yeah, class yeah. players. Um, and I think he'd also, Atkinson also played quite a high line because he said he didn't want like the whole game with, with Sharp and Grey with standing underneath the United bar. Oh, God, yeah. You know, so he wanted to keep Everton ev ev as far away from the goal as possible. Because he knew Sharp and Grey weren't going to run them, didn't yeah, he, really? Yeah, And I think Atkinson was... I, I like it on, and mm -hmm. he gets... I think he's underestimated, and he, you know, he's obviously got to say, had a certain image, yeah, but yeah. I think he was a far better manager than people give him credit for, but he was a particularly good manager in one-off games. Yeah, yeah. One-off big games. Good, he was good manager, yeah. Yeah, he was good, you know, had a good record at Wembley. See his record against uh, Liverpool, you know? Yeah. And I think he worked out, he had Paul McGrath playing, and I think he bought obviously the Bayern Munich game, and he put McGrath and Stapleton on the near post for all corners and, every corner, and, yeah. and, and throw in, you know, because I think he thought that's where the threat is. Yeah. And I, I, watched, I watched the game again as part of my research, and it was 90 minutes, I'll never, or 120 minutes, I won't yeah, get well, back. Yeah, well, it because it was, you know, and like a lot of them games, you watch a lot, like, even the best teams, and as I say, say in the book, is, you know, Nothing happens no. <laughs> for long periods of the game. No. There's just like goalkeepers just booting it to each other. Like, you know, nothing yeah, ever happened you know, the board, man. Yeah, and you know. We just looked flat that day. We just yeah. looked knackered. You know, you you know think, I, I didn't say in the book, but I think, you know, what one thing I think they made a mistake. I don't think they should have come back to Merseyside from Rotterdam. They've just gone to London. London. Yeah. yeah. Just to keep an extra bit of travel on. Yeah. There. I think you've got to, you're flying home on the night. Yeah. Then you've got a long coach journey. Yeah. No. You know, should have gone there, I, I think. Man. Give themselves a bit of breathing. I space, think if they'd have stayed in Rotterdam and, fl and flown over to and stayed on the Thursday, that would have in London. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, I think, I don't. I mean, obviously, shall we say you would have been able to monitor the players <laughs> better, you know? Yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, uh, I'm sure they were fully prepared for the cup final, but even just stopping that two hundred miles in, just like coach, yeah, 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 any you know. bit of recovery wouldn't that now? Yeah, yeah, no, recovery. No. So, you know, we hit the post, read it's the outside yeah. of the post in the first half, doesn't he? And, we, and I think their goal, off. 
changed yeah. things as well. And yeah. Stapleton went back to centre half, yeah. and, yeah. and was brilliant. But but the, but United carries on playing the, the attacking football. He left three up front, you say, yeah. because in eighty three, Mill Cup final against Liverpool, Atkinson pulled everybody back into defence when he had ten men. Yeah. Got beat two one. I think he learned well. Ten men just carry on playing second forty because we were out on our feet. I think. And Nev should save it anyway. Well, I think it's a combination of Nev and Van der Nauw. Got to get close. I I mean, Nev. It's not Nev. Yeah. 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 He should save it. I think Van der Nauw. He needs to show white sides. White side's not the fastest in the parish. Show him on the outside. Show him on the outside. And I think Nev thinks he's going to do that. So Nev's right by his near post. Yeah, takes a step. Close to his near post, Mm. thinking that white side's going to go uh, inside. And as it happens, Van Nauw doesn't do see. that, and he gives gives the. Uh, I was on the tunnel end, obviously, where we were, and I can still see him hit it. Um, you're just hoping that because you squ- I was right behind, yeah. so it was at the far end. <coughs> as he hit it, you're just hoping the ball keeps running yeah. past the goal. Yeah, and I can yeah. just see it at the corner and bounce up, and then they just roar. Don't yeah, they? Just yeah, like, it was um, I think horrible. It, yeah. And they were replays in them days. Yeah, they yeah. could have just got the replay. We, I think we. Oh, I think they were. I think they were a good. Te- I think they were a good team. United, you know. Yeah, it would have been the first yeah, night. Yeah, yeah. Dog, have it. it's yeah, like yeah. five more days rest. Yeah, yeah. I get that. I think we'd have beat them. Yeah, uh, I, I. I know what you're saying. It yeah, wasn't like we were playing a poor. We were playing Watford eighty four. No, but you I know? still yeah. feel like a, yeah. a few days rest. I yeah. think we'd have beat. I do think they made the mistake going back to Liverpool. Yeah, absolutely. To straight to London. Yeah, and so, but you know. I don't finish the season on that sort right, of okay, yeah. because I, I talk about I, I wrap up by talking about eighty four five seasons. Talk about those stats we're talking yeah, about yeah. there, and it's it's one of the most dominant dominant campaigns in English football yeah. history. Yeah, yeah. Win the title with five games left. Win the you know win the European Cup in this cup, and people say used to poo poo it saying, "Oh, it's not like the UEFA Cup or the European Cup." See, they were in the cup in this cup that year. Barcelona, Terry Venables won, won La Liga. Yeah. They were in it. They they got knocked out. Lost four one at the New Camp to Mets. Uh, Roma, who played Liverpool in the, in the European, European Cup, Cup final, final yeah. obviously had Bayern Munich. Yeah, who were as well. Like yeah, that's the best yeah, thing Europe, in Europe that year. People you know. were saying. So, so there was some. There was clubs with real pedigree mm. there. Um, I mean, he's the best team, and you know, in the competition. And we were in it. Yeah, we were in it. Well, exactly. When you look back on it now, yeah, we were yeah, in it. That's exactly. it. Best team in Europe, and that's what mm. I say in the book. We were the best team in Europe. Mm. In eighty five, people say, Oh well yeah, but oh, what about them? Well Real Madrid finished fourth. I mean Juventus won the European Cup, obviously. Finished they finished sixth, yeah. I think, in Serie A. Well, it was, yeah. You know. Yeah. You know, we so, were, we so they were you know, we Bayern Munich won won yeah, the, the Bundesliga, but but, yeah. but but we be destroyed them at yeah, Goodison. Exactly, yeah. You know, Barcelona as I say, t- they won the Liga. Mm. They, not, they got knocked out in the first round of the competition we won. You know, so, you know, so you're looking at like the, the big beast of European Who football that you yeah, think yeah. are should be the best. Um, they weren't. They weren't. No, we're as good as us. No. No, we're near as no good, chance, you know. Yeah. And uh, so by spring 85, as I say, one of the most do- dominant domestic campaigns of any club in history, going for the treble, and the best team in Europe. And, and, and I say, but so we've done far better than some of the greatest teams ever played in English yeah, football. Again, N- yeah. Don Nevy's Leeds never got anywhere near that. No. Bob Paisley's nearly did in seventy seven, but they'd lost they won two trophies, but they they'd lost the cup final. Yeah, yeah. So they were never going for the treble of three trophies anyway, like yeah. we were. You know, uh, Ferguson's team did it once. Yeah. You know, Bobby Robson's team went after three trophies in eighty one but didn't won one. Yeah. Uh Matt Busby, Bill Shankly never got anywhere near never it. Yeah. But what we did yeah. in eighty four or five. And people that's how good it was. Yeah. That's how good they were. That, that's how good they were, you know. You know, and, and, and people people forget that. You yeah, know, and, and that's I hate the word legacy, but that that's it. Just look yeah. at that record with the record of great teams and the great managers yeah. that are celebrated as being yeah, great yeah. teams and they didn't get yeah, anywhere they didn't near. Get near it, yeah. What we, we often say <coughs> the team that fell through the cracks because Yeah. People don't look but, at it the way yeah. they are, and, and obviously the Howard's Way films yeah. brought it back to people's minds. Be- but best European champions English football never had. Yeah, easily, yeah, easily. Because we'd have won at eighty six, Stal Bucharest beat Barcelona on penalties. Yeah, worst fine level. We'd have won. Two best teams in Europe played at Wembley, didn't they? That well, year. exactly. 
exactly by miles and we'd have had Lineker in that and you know yeah. whatever Lineker was unbelievable yeah but that's that's yeah. for the future that's, yeah, for, that's, for, that's, that's, that's for, for two years three. Three. Yeah, that's three. fine that's for but, volume but you, you can't look I was, I was always very I say when they finished the book that's lazy five was the, the way to finish but yeah. I didn't want to finish and say oh we've got to be in the cup final duh you know what a bummer that is you know finish on that yeah, you know yeah, yeah. I think it's good to have a historical piece no, at the it's, end it's that great, says yeah. says yeah, that's a minor blemish. Mm, and I think how I said over yeah. the season, this is one of the great seasons yeah. of anybody in English yeah. football history. And this is before the money. Even clubs have had loads of money, like City. Yeah. Have got, they've got not points. got into like a uh, where they can win three trophies, they've won two when they serve. And so, but we did. You know, well, that's just an incredible achievement. Mm. And obviously, within the context of the periods, 18 months earlier, we were, Howard was getting sacked. Was, and we yeah, were exactly. Uh, near the bottom of the league and scored 11 goals in 21 games. So there's that, that narrative the as well. Turnaround yeah, was yeah. incredible. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Fantastic. Really. Great to just go through it all. It is, yeah, yeah. It I feel like having a few sheds. Is the fire, is fire extinguisher out yeah. there? Yeah, well, yeah. go and have a, a pint yeah, somewhere yeah. and just yeah. reminisce. Yeah. yeah, no, absolutely brilliant. Listen, Gav, thanks very much for coming in. Pleasure. Get the book. Yeah. What a Christmas present this can be. You know, a couple of weeks before Christmas, all us blues who certainly ones who've seen it, incredible. But if you want to learn about the history of Everton Football Club and do it that way, why not get the book? It's a great time to get it. Where can we get it, Gav? Where's it? All the usual places on the the internet and in, in the shops. And the book's not just for Christmas. You always buy it after no, Christmas. No, yeah, of course as well, you like, can. Yeah, I'm yeah. just saying, get yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well. Good Christmas book. book. I always remember, and uh, when you can't buy stuff, they're still selling as well. So yeah. you got to read. The, the, good to get the two books. Get the two. Yeah. It's really, as you, you say, like, volume yeah. one, volume two, two. yeah, yeah, and, and you'll be back in two years. It's volume, volume three, three, yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, there you go. Big thanks to Gavin for coming in. So, make sure you check it out. We'll see you later.